A woman from St. Helens accidentally captured a mysterious small figure on camera. Now St. Helens is in the UK. At first I thought it was Mount St. Helens in Washington State, but it's actually a place in the UK. This lady's name is Melissa Braham, and in her own words, this is what she said about capturing this image. Recently, it was my birthday, and I received a new smartphone as a present. On Friday, February 26, I took my dog for a walk in the afternoon because it was a beautiful day. I also brought my new phone so I could test the camera. In the afternoon, I took a few short videos and a variety of photos with different resolutions. Later that night, I put the photos on my computer so I could look at them. I saw what looks like a tiny humanoid-shaped figure walking from right to left in one of the still photos when I was reviewing them. Now, I'm not saying that the object is a tiny, living, breathing creature of some kind. But if you look at the enlarged images, you can see that it does look like a two-legged creature of some kind. It has a head, eye, body, arms, legs, hands and feet. No one knows what the foreign object is, but it must be something because it reflects light and casts a shadow on the ground. It doesn't look like a squirrel, a rat, a bird, or any other animal I've seen before. The photo was taken with a 12 MP camera set to full auto mode and at full resolution. Zoom was not used. The photo was taken on Cowley Hill Lane, St. Helens, between the Victoria Park entrance and the now demolished health center. One researcher said that it looks two dimensional and lacks detail which a lot of other people have also said in the comments for this photo. But Melissa thinks that the reason why it looks two dimensional is because it was really sunny and if it was a cloudier day, maybe it would have a little more detail. I did not see the person when I took the photo. It was just a quick test shot to see how the camera worked. If someone put it there as a joke, a model, a toy or a cardboard cutout, why didn't I see it? So Melissa doesn't think that this was a cardboard cutout or a strange toy because she didn't see anything like that on the road. When she was walking, she didn't even notice this creature. She said it wasn't a windy day, but think about it. If you're walking down the street, you'd probably notice a little humanoid paper cutout. I think she accidentally caught a little person on camera. Now you might be asking yourself, what is a little person? A lot of cultures around the world, including Native Americans, talk about little people. One of the terms for these little people in Alaska is the Izhiguk. There's a whole bunch of different dialects in Alaska, so pretty much every village around Alaska calls it something else, from Imanark, Inukin, to Ishinga. If you look at this photo, you can see large eyes with a uh, elongated head and kind of a snout almost protrusion right here. And there, it really isn't very much detail. If I zoom in, you can't really see very much detail on this thing, but you can see that it has a shadow and you can see some calf muscles. So according to Alaska folklore, we have two types of little people. One of the more commonly cited ones are the three foot tall ones. They kind of look like little goblins. Like uh, A lot of people see them, they wear furs, but the little known other types of little people that we have are only six inches tall, which some people see. I don't hear as many stories about these kind. This thing almost looks like a little gray alien. One of my friends from Brevik Mission actually said that she found a body of a tiny gray alien looking creature, only about this big, she said, and it scared her. She found it in a stream when she was out playing. And I was like, damn, you should have grabbed it or took a picture of it or something. And she said she wasn't thinking, it just scared her and she left. But this fits the description of what she saw. A lot of these stories also say that these creatures are subterranean, which would explain the larger black eyes that we see in the image. But people also often say that they see them wearing clothes and this thing looks kind of naked. Little is known about these elusive, tiny little six inch tall humanoids. One of my friends from Saskatchewan, Canada actually told me a story about little people that she described very similar to these ones. She said that they were only six inches tall, their basement had a little hole about this big in it, and that these little tiny humanoids that had large eyes and like pointy heads and gray skin would come out from the hole at night and steal stuff from her house. Now in Irish folklore, which a lot of you are probably familiar with, the little people are often said to steal jewelry and stuff like that. 
And these little people with this description were stealing stuff from her house. They were terrified anytime anyone was awake and saw them and they would run away. And this little person sighting reminds me kind of this other video of a tiny humanoid running by a baby. So normally I think most people would dismiss stuff like this because how could a humanoid that's intelligent like Indians in the cupboard kind of thing or the movie The Secret Life of Arietti Stories of very small humanoids that live in people's cupboards or in their homes and steal stuff from them. What many people don't know is that these little creatures actually kind of look like alienish with large eyes and pointy little heads. And this is the first time I've ever seen a profile of one, which might be the only evidence that we have that I'm aware of, along with this other goblin or little person footage of the little person running by the baby. Anyway, tell me what you think these creatures are. They match the stories of Alaskan folklore. They're small enough to hide from anyone and they're small enough to live wherever they want without being spotted. The only discrepancy I can see from this white image and the stories I've heard about these little people is that the pe everyone who I've met who's seen them says they look gray, but in the right lighting, they might look white. Let me know in the comments what you think this is.